Hey everyone, my name is Jesse from the BuzzFeed Food Team, and today I'm gonna to be testing five famous celebrity guacamole recipes to see which one is actually the best. Today I'll be testing recipes from Rachel Ray, Aisha Curry, Alton Brown, Marcella Valladolid, and Beyonce. I measured all the ingredients precisely as the recipe stated to level the playing field, and I got three of my friends to try the guacamole in a blind taste test. I picked my winner, but I wanted to see what they thought. So, game on. Rachel Ray starts by mixing diced red onions with lemon juice and salt, mixes it up, and lets it sit for about 10 minutes. After that, she cuts and pits two avocados and scoops the flesh out on top of that onion mixture. Then adds some cilantro, jalapeno, and garlic and mashes it all together. But here's where things get crazy. Next, she adds even more lemon juice, diced apples, and pureed chipotle and adobo, then mixes that all up and seasons it. To finish it, she transfers some into a bowl and tops it liberally and entirely with toasted almonds and even more apples. We got almonds on the guacamole, that's not a thing. Ooh, okay, okay, very chunky. If I can think of like Hawaiian guacamole, <laughs> this is what I think I'd be getting. Guacamole usually has big texture problems, so I don't mind a little bit of crunch from the almonds. The almonds are good. They kind of break up the fruitiness and make it a little more savory. I'm kind of freaking out about this one because I don't know what to make of it, but I do like it. I don't love it. I like it, it's different. But if we go around not liking things that are different from us, come on man, America, wake up. Aisha Curry starts by scooping the meat out of a single avocado and placing it into a bowl. She called it meat, not me, so don't at me in the comments for this one. She then adds diced shallots, hot sauce, chunky garlic paste, lime juice, salt, and pepper, then just mash that all up with the fork, and that's it for this one. Looks like this was a project between a mom and a child. This is all they could achieve. If something slaps me across the, my taste buds, I'm gonna be angry because it is so unassuming looking. This is definitely, yeah, like a bar quality. Nothing special, it's fine. That's very good. You know, it's not, it's not spicy, um, but it's very creamy. Just your basic guacamole, but it's good. I like this one. Up next is Alton Brown. He starts with three whole avocados, cuts them in half, takes the pit out, and scoops the flesh into a bowl. To that, he adds lime juice, tosses it all together, and strains out the extra juice into a tiny bowl, because you'll use this later. Next, he adds cayenne and cumin, and mash that all together with a potato masher to give it a nice creamy texture. He adds garlic, onions, jalapeno, cilantro, tomatoes, and the reserved lime juice, and mix that all together. And that's it for this one, super classic. This looks like a classic guacamole. The colors here say Viva Mexico. This looks like the type of guac that you get when you order at a restaurant. It's not very guacamole -y, y. There's an issue here. There is a lack of flavor. It almost doesn't taste like avocado or like vegetables. It tastes like taco seeds. There is not enough seasoning in here, not enough salt. The basic of all whack. I'll say I don't like this one. It presents itself in a way where it looks like it's gonna be the ultimate guacamole and then it isn't. Up next is Food Network personality Marcella V. Just cause I don't wanna butcher her last name with her sweet and spicy guacamole. She starts by cutting open five avocados, pits them and roughly mash them all together with a fork to give it a nice texture. To that, she adds diced mango, red pepper flakes, a generous amount of salt and a ton of lime juice and mix that all together. She places it into a bowl and tops it with chili oil to add a pop of heat. It looks beautiful, it's attractive. This looks like it's gonna be spicy. There's a big chunk of an orange fruit really throwing me for a loop here. Oh, I lost sense of time. Where am I? What is that? It tastes like Chinese food oil. It tastes almost like Asian infused. This one is the most interesting by far and it's good. I'm into it. And last is a queen bee herself with a super traditional recipe for guac. She starts by peeling two avocados and smash them together with a spoon to smooth it all out. Next, she adds lime juice, tomato, diced onion, salt, pepper, and garlic, and mix that all together until it's all incorporated. Transfer it to a bowl, and that's it. There goes another one that looks like it's about to be a classic experience. Picturesque, little tomatoes in there. This is what you'll have at a Mexican restaurant. Just have the right amount of seasoning, the right amount of tomatoes, onions. This is almost like the closest to just like guacamole. 
<laughs> by the books, it seems pretty straightforward. The consistency is really nice. There's some texture to it. It's not too chunky. It's really good. Which celebrity has the best guacamole recipe? Let's find out. My favorite out of all these five recipes was number four. A beautiful reinvention of a classic recipe done the freaking right way. You got sweet, you got salty, you got everything. Are you serious? Marcela, that is awesome. My favorite was number five. It was just like your typical guacamole, but it was very good, like a good texture, still creamy. There was something to like bite into with the onions and the tomatoes, and I could eat that any day. Oh, get out. Blue Ivy is one lucky girl eating that all the time. <laughs> if I had to pick a favorite guacamole today, it is without question guacamole number four with the oil and the mangoes in there. I was blown away, it's good guacamole. I don't know who that is, but my theoretical hat is off to you. There you have it. Marcella Valladolid has the best guacamole. Which celebrity recipe should we try next? Hit us up in the comments below. Maybe even better than the classic recipe.